everyone, Tommy from TechNexus, and thanks for joining me on today's video. Now, firstly, I will apologize. It's been uh, over a week since my last video, and things have just been flat out, and um, I, I'm definitely have on my list of things to do to try and get back into the swing of doing videos, but um, I did come across something today that, for some reason, I don't know, just crossed my mind uh, about getting extra plant properties into Navisworks, and I thought I'd record it and show you. When you append a DWG file out of Plant 3D, and you look at the properties inside Navisworks, you do get a handful of entries in here. Um, and I was reading on the forums, someone wanted to see more of these. Now, if you don't have a, a programming background, what you could do is, you know, write a script or an, use the Navisworks API to, to get all of that data out and then maybe populate it in here. There is another option. So I'm just in uh, Plant 3D here, but if you type in 3D DWF, and then I'm going to throw this DWFX file on my desktop, now, if I open that DWFX file and I click on it and I go to DWF pipe, you can see that there's a whole bunch of extra information in there. Okay, so I guess you could uh, just dump a, uh, a 3D DWF at regular stages to export, but it's not reading the live DWG. Now, some people want to see the live DWG, some people don't care. Um, if you're one of those that doesn't care, then you maybe use the 3D DWIF um, and then see how you go with getting the extra information in there. And I don't have any fittings in here to show, but uh, if we jump into the elbows uh, and then go DWIF elbow, you can see that we do have some extra information there. Like we can even see the S key, we can see the ends, we can see any line number tags and uh, all that, all, all the sort of other information there as well. So um, if information is important to you in Plant 3D, then have a look at using uh, 3D DWIF or the DWIFX file format. So uh, thanks for watching. Um, I'll try and get another video out tonight. If not, I'll definitely get some more out over the weekend. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't. But please do subscribe to the channel and uh, stick around and let's get some more videos going and let's see if we get some more information out there into the open about Plant 3D and all of the other Autodesk products. And if I don't see you all tomorrow, have a good weekend and I'll catch you next week. See you later.